Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Guido Goes Off. And without further ado, let's get started. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I uh, have a producer here uh, making sure I get this right. Um, it was big news released earlier this week um, of WWE in talks with, in secret talks, uh, with uh, Sinclair Broadcasting, the parent company of Ring of Honor. Um, according to a um, report released by Pro Wrestling Sheet, the, talks, the, po the, um, the subject of the talks is a possible buyout of the promotion by WWE. Um, as I said, these have been, uh, there's, these have been uh, some secret meetings between the two um, entities, um, and this has been going on this has been going on since January, is what's been reported. Now, again, um, nothing's been substantiated by either Sinclair Broadcasting or by WWE. Um, now, there is some. Could there, now, one thing that can lead to some truth of this is, um, as was reported uh, over the weekend, but kind of overshadowed, uh, Carrie Silken, uh, former president of Ring of Honor, and um, was. Um, showing up at uh, what well, did show up at a WWE live event. Um, now, as stated before, again, we 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 really don't know the um, if this is what's going on, or if you got claw there, or if this is possible, just a possibility of maybe Ring of Honor branching out and making a deal with the WWE to have its weekly show on the WWE Network, which would help Ring of Honor tremendously. As is, as it is right now, um, the only place you can see Ring of Honor is on uh, any Sinclair Broadcasting Network, and I know uh, any channel owned by Sinclair Broadcasting. I know there's some a lot of areas that don't get this. I'm one of the lucky ones that I do. Um, but it would help Ring, Ring of Honor reach a broader audience. And... You know, but even if this, you know, if that's not the case, and that this actually could be a buyout, it would mean that WWE would buy um, the third largest promotion in North America, outside of itself and Impact Wrestling. Now, I'm not one to advocate the monopolization of professional wrestling. I believe we need as many, um, as much wrestling as possible, so that you know, there's one, there's competition, and two. Um, everybody out there can enjoy as much wrestling as they want and, and want and need. So, um, again, there's nothing official yet, and it's you know it could be a multitude of things. Again, this is one of those stories that we really want to stay on top of because, like I said, this um. A lot of people like Ring of Honor and don't want to see it um, bought out by WWE and basically just be another brand um, under its umbrella. Um, so, of course, as always, I'll try to stay on top of things so that you guys can find out. And, well, we'll see what happens because uh, this, this is some big news. Well, ladies and gentlemen, fans of SmackDown have noted that that Mauro Anello has been conspicuous by his absence over the past two weeks on the on SmackDown Live. Um, the first um, two weeks ago, it was explained that he was um, stuck in uh, the in the Northeast with that big snowstorm, and earlier this week, he w it was said that he was sick. In both cases, Tom Phillips filled in as the play by play man on the SmackDown Live uh, as announced team. Well, also, interestingly enough, a lot of people have noted that although that he was also conspicuous by his absence on social media. Um, as a lot of fans know, Mauro Ranello is very, very, very active, um, especially on Twitter. And over the past couple of weeks, we have not heard anything from him on any form of social media. Um... Well, uh, last night, he did send out a tweet uh, thanking the fans for their concern. Um, 
and it was that he was and to let everyone know that he was advised by his doctors to stay off social media and he is working to get better now as a lot of fans know Mauro Ranello um, has dealt with depression for most of his life and it's, it's speculated that this is another bout of depression um, as we we know he's receiving treatment for it um, we do hope uh, he gets better and mostly we're we mostly a lot of people were just concerned for his well-being his welfare <coughs> and you thank the fans for that um, of course we here on the Guia goes off um, we don't want to see we want to see people anyone with any form of mental illness get the help that they need so that they can lead as much of a normal life as possible and we hope for it and while we know it may not be speedy we do hope for Morrow's recovery and that he can get back to his life um, because he enjoys what he does and we enjoy him doing it Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, we here at the Guido Goes Off um, have an unfortunate report to make. Um, on Wednesday, uh, Jan Ross, the wife of um, popular announcer and WWE Hall of Famer Jim Ross, uh, passed away on Wednesday. Um, her death was a result of multiple skull fractures uh, that had occurred in an accident. Um, she was hit while riding her Vespa scooter um, by a teen driver. Um, Mrs. Ross was not wearing her helmet at the time. Um, on Wednesday night, uh, Jim Ross released a tweet um, that the priest issued last rites and that his little angel was gone. Um, the wrestling community, um, wrestlers, um, owners, fans, all have reached out uh, to Jim in this very sad time for him and his family and we here on at the Guido Goes Off um, also extend our sincerest condolences to Jim and his family um, our pray, you know, prayers are sent your way and we're sorry for your loss Well, the whispers have finally turned to screams. WWE has officially made an offer to Matt and Jeff Hardy. Um, it was speculated that the two so that that all parties were in talks, and that the Hardys were looking to come back to WWE. Um, at this time, it's unknown whether the offers were offers were accepted. And at the same, whether or not they're going to use the broken Matt and Jeff gimmicks. As we know, uh, Ant, um, the Hardys are locked in a legal battle with Anthem over the rights to the broken universe. Um, and as we know, Rebby Hardy um, made some accusations toward Anthem about the fact that she... she um, Senor Benjamin, who was her father, and were not paid for their appearances, and um, the child labor laws regarding Maxwell. Again, this could get very, very ugly, but as far as um, the Hardys coming back to WWE, um, it's still not known whether or not it's going to be accepted, and I'm guessing they're probably going to keep this hush-hush. As we know, um, the Hardys are set to defend the Ring of Honor Tag Team titles at Supercard of Honor um, next Saturday. With, next Saturday, April 1st, which is also the last day of their contract with Ring of Honor. So it is, you know, the possibility is there, and probably a better and average chance, that the Hardys will either be at WrestleMania or appear the night after on Raw. So, as always, stay tuned, and we'll try to keep you informed as much as possible. Well, um, 
a lot of announcements made as far as the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, and that is of the people inducting uh, this year's Hall of Fame class. Um, now, as always, um, as far as the Warrior Award is concerned, Dana Warrior will induct Eric Legrand, um, this year's Warrior Award recipient. Um, now, it was announced um, pretty early last week that John Cena will be the one inducting Kurt Angle this year. Um, it does it does make sense as Cena's first match in WWE was against Kurt Angle as part of his Olympic challenge. Um, also announced, uh, Eric Bischoff will be inducting Diamond Dallas Page. And Natalia will be inducting Beth Phoenix. Um, as a lot of people know, the two did team together as the under the unofficial name of the Divas of Doom. And so it, it does make sense. But, of course, a lot of people are seeing it, that looking at their weather reports, because hell has frozen over, and Jim Cornette will be inducting the Rock and Roll Express into the WWE Hall of Fame. Now, uh, he has, he has said that he, you know, he that he doesn't want to be there, and it's probably kayfabe because, as we know, all know, uh, Jim Cornette managed the Midnight Express, the longtime rivals of the Rock and Roll Express. But the two, but all all of these guys made a crap ton of money. This feud is one of the biggest feuds in wrestling history and I would say one of the greatest tag team feuds of all time. So I don't know which is going to be interesting. All, all these this great list of Hall of Famers that are going in or the fact that Jim Cornette is going to have a live mic at a WWE event. I mean, you get you imagine what he's going to say, you know, probably talking about stuff Vince is doing wrong. Um, you know, Stephanie, you know, Triple H. And, oh, of course, of course, he is probably going to just lay, lay into Kevin Dunn. And everybody knows that little rat face, buck tooth, bucky beaver looking mother... Okay, well, that's going to do it for this episode of The Guido Goes Off. And as always, I thank you folks for watching. Um, and of course, I would love to hear from you. Uh, what did you guys think of the topics I covered in this episode? As always, feel free to uh, drop a line in the comments section below. And as always... You can join in the conversation on my social media on the screen. Whew. Okay. As always, feel free to like this video, share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications of upcoming shows. Um, I did, of course, post a fan poll, and I will be doing a WrestleMania-themed countdown uh, within the next couple of days, so please stay tuned for that. Yeah. I'm a little excited. Oh, whew. Here we are. A few days before Mania. <sighs> and, uh, well, until next time, I am the Guido, and I think we're done here. And I need, I need some air. Woo! That Bucky Beaver working brother. <laughs>